Hello, I'm Dave, a custom Lego minifigure review from KO Customs. I am super excited about this minifigure because, if you remember, I have the Frosty 1.0, which is, or Frosty, which is based off of Iceman. And my channel, of course, is called Iceman Jake. So I tried to get all the Iceman minifigures possible. Well, they finally made a Frosty 2.0. This one comes in a very nice, huge case. I think it's different from the other one, though. It does come with a bunch of pieces, which I will show in a second. So it does come in nice packaging, secure, keeps the minifigure safe. Um, we'll pop it right open. This is a QR code for the instructions, of course, to make his ice trail, which is very cool. Uh, I have it built on the side just because it's a lot of pieces in here. Then he also comes with a bunch of accessory pieces to make it look like the ice is shooting out of his hands, kind of like how Spider-Man uh, with the Lego releases does that. And then you also get the minifigure. You get an additional headpiece. You get an additional hair piece, which it just came in the back of parts. And it's a little bit of a different style. You also get all the parts that I said. You get the card for the figure as well. So you can see him right here. I'm going to keep it in there though. And then you can see this one is 49 out of 100. So I was very lucky to get this one. I was almost 50. It would have been cool. And then, yep, so that's what all comes in the packaging. Set that to the side. Um, and like I said, you get an additional head. You get the minifigure himself. You get an additional hair piece. It's slightly different from the one that comes on the figure. You get, uh, these ones are buildables. So these are the ones like ice shooting out of his hands and that they show in the picture. And these are just a bunch of pieces that are like the web pieces or like these are plant pieces used sometimes. And then you can see these are like typically in white for the Spider-Man ones. And then these are the hold piece holders that come with a lot of minifigures nowadays. So we have his ice blasters. We have um, kind of like the fire fist ones, but these are going to be the ice ones. Of course, the minifigure can hold these. Uh, it did come with a few extra parts, which is nice, just like a Lego set. And then we have, again, these would be like the Spider-Man ones. But you see they're kind of like the ice pieces. And then the last one is, of course, this one, which you can change this one out. Uh, for these ones, you just pop the piece off and you can put this one on there. So it's kind of like he's shooting the ice beam. So those are all the accessory parts. I'll show the minifigure in just a second. But the ice trail is a bunch of parts, as you can see. Sorry, I've got to focus for a second. Come on. There we go. So you can see it's a bunch of pieces. And this is actually two, and they pin it together, how the instructions go. And then the minifigure can stand on the end right there. There's a stud. So this is the front of his ice trail. If you've ever seen the um, X-Men movies or like the um, classic X-Men, you can see when he rides in. So this thing is bendable in any way that you would like, which is really cool. Easiest way to put it back. Oh, popped it off. Easiest way to put it back. So there you can kind of see... That's like one of the points that's not pinned, but it just goes back together. Um, to get it back straight, it's just put it on a flat surface, push it down, and then you have it back to normal. The way they show it in like the instructions is you have them standing over here, and then pop the middle area up, and it makes it look like an ice trail. Like he went up and down. Something like that. So a very cool accessory piece to this minifigure, and it's all, again, it's a lot of parts. Now onto the minifigure himself. He does come in a little baggy. Get him out. Super excited. A whole different style to this one. And he, like I said, he comes with two uh, faces, two hair pieces. Get him out. And here he is. Very shiny blue, transparent. Looks amazing. Like, the, the 1.0 or the original one was awesome, but this one is just even better. It just fits so well with the channel. There is a slight glare, of course, because of the lighting, but it is a shiny, sparkly piece. And then again, you can kind of tell with the hairstyles that comes. This one's like the translucent clear one, and this one's the frosted kind of one. But you can pop it off. You can change it out if you like. Throw this one back on just for the moment. So here is the Frosty 1.0 or 2.0 minifigure. Sorry. 
and starting at his face, you can kind of see he has that smiley look. He's always a happy dude. His nice, bright blue eyes, shiny. See some cheek designs on the sides, eyebrows, a little smile and a little some chin. And then coming down to his chest and torso, you can see kind of a standard like Lego buff guy. You got the chest, the abs, a little bit of some uh, like rib indents right here on the sides. Um, and then he does have the X-Men belt going across his lower section. See the X-Men logo right there. Again, that nice shiny blue, frosted shiny blue is very cool. And then we do have printing on his lower legs. Again, sorry if it's hard to see. But you can see the curves of where like his, they're like underwear, kind of like a Speedo. But you can see the edges of them, which then go up to like his X-Men belt space or like the waist. But it's just a darker line with a little lighter one over it. And then no printing on the bottom of the feet. And coming over to the side of the minifigure. Uh, you can see no printing on the side of the body, waist, legs, or arms, hands. All the same color though as the body. Actually there is... Oh, my mistake. Again, a little hard to see even my eye. There is a line right here of his Speedo or outfit that does come along on the upper leg right there. You can see that darker line. I'm assuming it's the same as this side. Yep, right there. Comes up from the front to the side. And then to the back of the minifigure. Again, kind of a standard um, like back buff guy. You got the shoulders, the spine indent down the center. A little bit of like the hips are on the sides. Then, of course, this is the X-Men belt from the front. Would go all the way around to the back. And then there's the slightest little line right there of the print of the Speedo coming to the back. Because, of course, since it's pad, they don't print in the holes. So you can see it right there. And then that's the minifig, of course. So you can kind of see him. There we go. Very cool. Love this minifigure. Can't wait to put him on display, especially with his ice trail. And I will show the other head now. The craziest thing is, is these are actually Lego pieces too, if you don't believe me. They're stamped right there. Insane. Um, here is the other head. Of course, this would be like his battle action head. I'll put the, I'll put the other hair piece on just to show it off. So you can see he's got an angry look. Still has those cheek designs, a little bit of the chin. Uh, brows are angry. Eye, the, um, the eyes are more angry than they do have the little glare in them. And then you can see his teeth all gritted together. I do like this head actually a lot better. Or more than the other one. But I know he's typically a happy guy. And the hair piece. That, his hair piece looks just as good as the other one. I'm going to throw the happy one on. Just because like I said he's, he's always more of a happy guy. So throw that on there. Give him the hair piece. And now I will give him the, um, the ice blaster pieces for his hands. One. Looks like he has one down. One up, maybe. There we go. So you can see how they fit in the minifigure hands, of course. Kind of gives it like he's making his ice trail. And then, of course, you can always give him the little fiery hand ones, which are the ice hand ones, technically. There we go. So that gives it like he's, like, charging up. Oh, that one just fell off. And then lastly, let's get him on his ice trail. So you can see the minifigure has that little peg to stand on right there. And he is ready to go. That is awesome. This ice trail is huge. It's a great display piece. I feel like it needs a little bit of play just to kind of like figure out how you'd want it. It'd be like more a little flat on top. 
but you can see him standing there if you give him one of the ice blasters in his hand to make it look like he's shooting his ice beam out in front of him just like he does in the movies or the show and there you go Frosty 2.0 such a cool minifigure KO Customs has done a great job with Iceman in my opinion But that is the minifigure. That is all the accessories that comes with it. Of course, you do get the custom card number as well. Like I said, I got 49 of 100. Nice display box. Um, 184 pieces, so that's probably including the minifigure. I didn't actually count, but it. I agree with 184 pieces. Um, of course, the minifigure card. Great packaging. And a great minifigure all around. I think this might be one of my favorite Iceman minifigures to date. Um, their frosty one, the well, original one, is up there as well. Um, but great job with this minifigure. Um, of course, link down below for KO Customs. This minifigure is sold out. You might be able to find it on other places, but um, it is sold out on their website. Uh, but you can still check out. They have a bunch of other cool stuff, and I know I have a couple of things from them. Um, but yeah, so KO Customs, link will be down below, so be sure to check all that out. Be sure to leave a like if you haven't liked the video, and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And as always... Thanks for watching.